Okay, hello everyone, Samantha here. I pray all is well with you. This is a un <clears throat> packaging video, um, but I am going to use the item right away. I'm going to test it out right away instead of just unpacking it and leaving it there. I got these stickers. <clears throat> These are some, I'll explain what these are in a moment. This is from Stampin' Up. It's these markers, and then I needed some. <coughs> markers to color things, and I have like pencils, pens. But I ran out of market, uh, like a set of marks. Um, Sharpies or just like Copic type markers. I don't have that. My husband has that, but I don't want to use that. So I got some from Stamp and Stampin' Up, and these are called Stamp and Write. So they are water based dye ink, and I believe one side is a marker, and the other side is more like pen like. So, um Hold on, let me get a piece of paper. Alright. Okay, use this. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it's warm in here. Hold on. Okay. Sorry I hear that, but it, it's I'm not gonna sit here and be like, you know. Okay. Alright, so look. Ooh. Now that is nice. Oh. Yes. Look at that. Okay. Let me hold that up so you can see that. So one is fine tip, and the other one is like a brush tip. But that's really nice and what I like is I don't see anything bleeding from maybe so you can see it better let me go to the focus you see I don't see no bleeding on the edges because that sometimes really concerns me with markers <clears throat> okay so I have these packs of Happy Planner flowers. They came with this pack. Oh, let me go back out. The focus. Um, they came with this um, kit that I bought from the Happy Planner. It was like an extra bonus inside of it. And um, you get to color them yourself. And so, there's quite a few in here. But I'm going to go with these. Okay, I'm going to go with these. I like this because you, you get to color it. Say like if when you're, um, when you're, um, decorating something, maybe you don't have a color in your sticker, sticker booklet but you have the color in a pen, you can make it, or with some watercolor or whatever. Um, I don't know if that will really work with watercolor, but I'm sure gonna try. And um, these, I really like, you can, when you stamp, you can, you need to color, you can color your stamped images. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this, no, I'm not gonna go in with this green yet. Um, I like the fact too that it tells you what side is what. This side is um, 0.5 millimeters, and um, I really don't know what this one is. It doesn't. Oh, because it's a brush tip. So, all right. All right. So I'm going to go in with these colors right here. This like I wanted the the the. This is rose. Rococo. That's pretty. 
Alright, so I think I'm going to go in with this tip right here. Up here. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's nice. I am going to try with the brush tip so I could see. I'll hold it up so it can even be a better view. I like this. Well, what I'm not 100% sure but I think you could blend with these two um, but I'm not much of a blender anyway so <clears throat> that's not something I'm you know I think I'm gonna do this one here because it's going in the opposite direction is something I'm gonna try on a card. So yeah, I like these um markers so far. Oh yeah, I want to do one the brush tip. Okay. I'll finish this one and then I'll try that. I like when I'm stamping something and it's not a lot to color like how can I say like it's not like a coloring page with a whole bunch of shapes I have those coloring books and I will use them because because I'm sometimes I just want to color it but I don't I usually don't finish it in one setting and it's not something I'm too particular about so I want to try this brush tip <clears throat> and I'm gonna try it on this one here and see how that goes I like that okay I like these markers so far so good my paper is not being warped okay and sometimes when I get a product I get it because it was something that appealed to me but I don't always know everything that it can do or everything that I can do with it and um, I, I gradually learn different things about the product I really like how that is doing oh I like that it didn't warp the paper it didn't make the paper look wet <coughs> and um you know like like peeling I hate when that happens so <clears throat> I wanted to get the whole kit of markers but um, they were sold out at the moment so I just went ahead and got <clears throat> these I like look at that the top goes on there yep As you know sometimes tops like to roll away So I will read off the colors to these markers in a moment. Oh my god. That is so nice, y'all. Oh my. I'm gonna have so much fun sitting down and just coloring some things. 
I don't want to use them more a lot, so I'm probably just gonna, you know, if I want some something I know that I'm gonna use. Let me fix the focus. <coughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is nice. That is nice. Some nice markers. Those are some nice markers. It is not bleeding. It's not doing that fringe at the at, on in the on the edges. I can't stand when markers do that. I cannot. It's just ooh. I can't stand it. So um, you know what? Let me make another color. Let me color something. Not make another color. Color something else. So that green. Let me. I put it in the wrong thing. I gotta be careful. Um, <clears throat> this was jade, just jade, pretty. Okay. Right, let's see right here. This pink. This is um. This color right here is magenta madness. Magenta Madness Nice Oh this is pretty It's actually Prettier on the paper Than the top The top is nice but I like it better Even as it's um, coloring with it Look at that I'll do another close up So I'll leave the link to these markers um, in the description section of the video and <coughs> a host code to get them okay so what other one do I you know what let me go ahead and do one that has like a lot of the flowers because I want to use that justice jade again um and I know I can get more of these markers so I really I uh, wanted to see how they work and I like them and so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, well and get the other ones you know I can't get the whole pack but you know buy what I can um, you know in the smaller packs and um, it'll be that what I really really appreciate about these markers is that it is not bleeding out and this is um, water based dye ink I don't have to smell any kind of funny fumes. But when I use Sharpies, it's oh, it's it's don't get me wrong, I like Sharpies though. But um you know, uh it just smells potent. Um, I don't smell anything with these markers. Then again I have the fan blowing toward me. I really like these goods. I really do. And I'm not just saying that because I don't I'm not gonna say I like something and I really don't. I'm just not gonna do it. Whether I was selling it or not, I just I'd rather just not say anything. <laughs> Before I start ooing on over something. Just because, you know, it's something that you know I'm selling or something connected with me. Do um, okay. So I like that. Now I'm gonna go in. So that was that's a pretty color. Okay, I'll lift it up when I finish um, coloring. 
I really like this product. I really do. <laughs> I really do. I want to show my husband this because he used markers. And when I, I'm going to show him how this thing colors. Because he may be like, ooh, I want some of those. No friend. And then again, too, sometimes it's not markers when things fray. Sometimes it's the paper. Sometimes um, some people forget that. You know, you can have a good um, writing apparatus, but the paper, the surface that you're writing on is trash. And believe me when I tell you, paper has different degrees of quality, different levels of quality. And you write on that thing, you're like, what in the world is going on here? And it's just not good. <laughs> it's not good. I think I'm going to try one more color. Look, this is relaxing. I'm going to use this today. Ooh. I love it. Oh my goodness. I am so... And look at this one right here. I might do two more colors. No, actually I don't like watching color videos, but some people do. And I want to... Sometimes I don't like when I'm just showing a product, but then I don't show me using it. Because maybe it's something I'm doing offline. And I think I'm going to go back in a little bit with the other color. I think also I'm going to learn... I'm going to see if I can learn how to blend it. I'm going to look for someone, look for someone with stamping up, a stamping up video. I'll probably go to Beauty and the Stamper, Jean, and watch her, see how, you know, she blends, because I know she has the markers. Hmm. <clears throat> I like how Jean makes cards too. Um, they're very pretty, and when she makes it, it seems it doesn't seem stressful at all. And um, it's very relaxing, especially when she's doing like the paper pumpkin kits, and she shows you step by step. <coughs> And she does that with us too when we meet. Walk us step by step. Okay. I like that color too. This color is Bumblebee. Bumblebee. So cute. Okay. I think I'm going to go in over here with this. I'm going to use the brush tip. So I can get more coverage quicker. I've got one. I'll be able to make a page with these. On, on, on a scripture card, but I think I'm going to use a Bible drawing page because I would like to use several of these flowers. I like this. Oh my god, y'all! Also, too, I am being mindful of how many times I'm going off with the marker and how much pressure because I realize that this is paper I don't think this is watercolor paper so if I press down of course too hard I could rip it I think or like you know just make it start getting like too wet because it is water based so I gather it's going to have some <coughs> effect on the paper if you keep warping it you keep, you know, going over it, over and over and over and over it with something that has a little bit of wetness to it. What I like about this, these markers too, is like 
you can really get into these fine places and again it's not fraying out of it because that is not easy to find in a marker unless you bang it paying buku bucks like for the copic and some other kind of markers boy but this one that's not doing that much i'm really happy it's making me want to color more with them because i'm no colorist and if you think that coloring is not a profession you got another thing coming because believe me when i tell you it is you got some people that are professional colorists look at that and they know how to do all the shading and blending because this i got this could get shades and stuff to it there's all of these but i'm not too skilled in that um but it's something i would like to put some attention to give some attention to and i will try it i have tried it but i don't feel comfortable trying it with these yet i just have to learn something first some other stuff first so this one is called purple posy it's pretty look how pretty let me see let's see it right here oh my god i want to use oh yeah i'm gonna use this one get some more coverage oh my goodness look at that purple oh my god it's so goodness look at that I just got a very warm feeling inside it is so pretty you know what I wonder if I was to go back over once these dried if I was to go back over it will it be darker but you know how some things it's light and when you go back you can get it to be like a little bit darker um i wonder if that's the case with these once they dry because i did make it a little bit darker on the right of this petal here i don't know if you can see that but i'm just gonna see let me see i think so Uh oh Let's see. Okay, I'm going to go with I really like this color. So I think I'm gonna go up here with this one. This is nice. I know I can put the top back on. I just I'm just realized I got I I got my hand my hand. I can make it just a little bit darker I'm gonna when I finish I'm gonna show it lift it up and show it um, yes, the, well, I need to just look at the thing at the the barrel get the see the size
I'm going to hold up the purple in a moment so you can see that. The purple posy. And Justice Jade. So, Magenta Madness, Bumblebee, um, Rose Roco. Right, I think. And I'm going to... I don't want to mess that up. Let's see. Rose, Rose, Rose Roco, right? And this is... In my hand, I got the Justice Jade. Okay, that's down here. Let's take this right here. So I like these. So when I get stamps, and they have the open, you know, you can col I can color, color them in. So let me go ahead and show you the purple posy. You see how I kind of made it two-toned. I like this. I really do. Okay, I think I'm going to do the last three. I'm going to do the last three. And I'm going to do it this color here. There is a, this is Terracotta Tau. Yep. I'm going to go on with it. Try it. I'm going to try it. Okay, I'm gonna use. I use this side. Oh. No, I want to use this thin one for this. No, I think you know it's better to use the because I don't want to waste a lot of ink because I'm trying to use that fine tip one. This will do just fine. Because the, the tip on this is very flexible and it's very thin. So, it helps me to color in the lines. This is a pretty color. I'm not really into anything orangey like. Um, not that I hate the color, but it's not one of my favorites. At all. It's not in the group at all. But this is pretty it has a like an undertone of red it's pretty oh that's pretty not bad okay let's see I'll put it on this big one here this brush tip and I'm definitely going to show my husband this I think someone told me that these are similar to like Copic you know Copic has this brand and this is like stamping up brand of a like a Copic type so um Okay, I guess I can go all down here with this. I wasn't going to try to do that, but okay. All right, so the Justice Jade come in with this. Oh, I forgot to do the other little flower the petals. I'll get to it in a minute. I think I am going to try one more color. So this is terracotta towel. It does remind me of the flower pot color. It's a little bit darker. And then sometimes I know it has to do with the surface as well. So I've got to take that into consideration. I know you have to take care of markers. You can't just like um, treat 
treat them any old kind of way and expect for them to last. There's a care that goes into using them and storing them. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this. I could have did this before, like color each one. And then go in with the... Um, Oops, I forgot to color this. I was looking down here and thought I did this one. That's because they look very close to me. I am going to share the other colors right after um, finish coloring these. I didn't plan on color all of these. I just was going to try one, but the more I tried it and liked it, then oh, look right here. It'll be, if I left out anything, it'll be easy to see once I finish. Because you know, it's so many that I missed that other one. And you know, sometimes when you step away and then come back, you could get to see if you missed. Um, what is it like? If there's any white dots in there. What's this one? This one is. Oh my. Okay, that goes here. I think this is right. Um, sea, seaside spray. Seaside spray. That's a pretty name. Probably like grayish blue. Yep. Look at that. This and that purple posy is so soft. And I really like soft colors. I like earth tones too. Um, actually, I started liking earth tones as I got older. I was surprised because usually sister likes some bright colors. Pink, not so much neon, but you know, like that fuchsia. Which I still like. Fuchsia, pur purple is actually my favorite color. And like that tealish like green. It's not this one. It's more like this. A little bit lighter the colors on the we are memory keepers items I got a lot of stuff that color in here yeah it's similar to this sometimes it could be this or like this they like one is a little bit lighter than the other but this right here look at that. see these are very close I love the color nice like this it's all in that same um, Category, I should say, you know, color zone or whatever they call, however you call it, color family. It's just it it, it it just goes from it's just different shades and tones of it. Um, but um, yeah, I like earth tones. Especially with my clothing. Really with my clothing. Like. Okay. That's nice. I like that too. So I'm going to hold it up. This is the terracotta towel. Let me. The Terragana towel and the seaside spray, which I could have done a better job with that. But, matter of fact, let's see if I 
Okay, I'm going back a little bit. Yeah, I like that when I go back over it, I can make it darker. Sure can. Sure can. But I'm very mindful that I don't want to want the paper because this is not a super wet medium. But it is water based and I want to consider that this is paper and although it seems like it's very good sticker paper that happy planner used oh i'm sorry i gotta go back into the regular focus but i did that a little better yeah mm -hmm. so i can make it light lighter or darker so let's see Let fix this boom i really like that so i went from this to this <laughs> I love it. 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 Okay. Oh my goodness. And so now, so we have the seaside spray, the terracotta towel, rosy woco, pope um purple posy, and this is um what color is this? This color is pretty peacock. That's these colors. Hold on. These flat. I really gotta find out what's the best way to store these. It has some information here. I could, I, could, I could color on stamps and breathe on them. Oh my goodness. I'm going to try that with these. So you see? this is That's why I'm going to read the... You know what? Let me see. I'm going to try to read the back, okay? After I tell the colors. So we have... The, um... What was that again? The what? Peacock? The pretty peacock. Pretty peacock. Okay. So... Terracotta Towel, Pretty Peacock, Seaside Spray, Rosy Woka, and Purple Posy. Okay, and then we have the Bumblebee in here, the Magenta Madness. We have Misty Moonlight. And we also have, what's this? Cinnamon Cider. Mmm. Okay, so I didn't use those yet. I'm not going to use them now. Um. So, I'm going to go ahead and read that. Okay, I don't have, like, reading glasses. That thing is just really tiny. I could, I could sit there and try to read it, but why do that when you got a magnifying glass on your phone? <laughs> I don't need to do that. So, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not liking... One minute. <laughs> One minute. Okay, one second. Okay, here we go. Dual tipped, fine and flexible brush tip. Use markers to color stamped images. Color directly on stamps in multiple colors. Color the stamp, breathe on it to refresh the ink, then stamp. Use marker ink for water coloring, water color, water coloring. Using the brush tip, scribble ink onto a clear block, then pick up the ink using an aqua painter or blender pen. Draw details using the finer tip. Visit youtube.com slash stampin' up to see more ways to use stampin' right markers. Store markers on their side, you see there, to prevent one end from dripping out. Warning, choking hazard, of course, because you got to be careful with things like this around children. So, look, it pays to read. Because <laughs> now, look, the que all the questions that I had about these, I, I got was answered. I wanted to find out more ways to use this. I was going to go look at, see if I could find, I was going to go look at Jean's video, which I still will look. 
and other YouTubers that use Stampin' Up! products. But I didn't know that I can go to a specific video. So I got that information. And then I found out how to store them. Because I started to say, okay, I'm going to go like this. And I was like thinking it might leak. Um, or, you know, just change the gra balance of the ink because of gravity. And I didn't want that to happen. So, um, whatchamacallit. Um, I'm glad I read because it says store them on their side. So that means I'm going to store them like this on their side. So that's it. So with that being said, I want to say... Um, thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.